Hello everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. Today, as you can tell by the title, I'm into B&M. So, I have been putting off going because of the lockdown. B&M has been open throughout because, as you know, they sell food. But I needed to get some cleaning stuff. And I also was looking for some storage bits and bobs. So, I bit the bullet and I went today. It was pretty much dead, which was awesome. I was in and out pretty quick, but I got way more than I went for. But let's get started. Let me show you what I went in for and why. I was looking for some organizers to put in the baby area to organize these food pouches and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I got these. I was looking for white, they really didn't have it, so got these, these were two for two pounds, there you go, two of these, I thought these are ideal for the food pouches, um, again, I would have preferred white because I think white is, one looks cleaner, more versatile, you never get bored of it, white is, is the best in my eyes, and then I got two of these. Okay, and these will be more for the, the little crisps and melts that he, um, he'll he be having and basically all that kind of stuff. If I do this before, if I organise it before I publish the video, I will put a little side thing right there for you to see what I'm using them for. Um, so I needed those. I also wanted some of these. These are not the OXO storage cubes but they, it's, they're a handle one, so you just do it like that, okay? And I wanted these to keep his open packets of melts in here. I'll wash them, and whenever there's an open packet, I'll just empty it onto one of these. I got two of those. These were two forty nine each. This is the smaller size they do. They had a slightly bigger one, um, maybe, you know, up to there sort of thing for two ninety nine, But this is enough for what I want it. And I can stack them as well. So I really wanted those. And I was also on the look for some of these. Basically, sometimes I want to store some diced onion. And it's only a little bit. I don't really have any more of these pods. I don't know what happened to them. So I saw these. A pound for four. I thought that wasn't bad. So I was happy with that. So I also wanted some cleaning products, but I'll show you as I go along. I'll just now show you everything else I got. I picked up some Fanta. Even though it says 65p, they were 39p each. I got two of each of those. Some hot dogs in a jar. You know the, the the big ones also got one thing of dumpling i've already got another one in in my cupboard but i actually paid i think it was like 70p for that the one that i have in the pantry this one exactly the same brand it's exactly the same one um i paid 39p so it's always worth i don't want to run out again so i got an extra one these i've tried before and it was very very nice so I got some more Maltese biscuits. I got some of these penguin cake bars. These were 49p. These will be for Alex. I also got wagon wheels. I am sure these are disgusting, but I thought I'll give them another try and see what they like. But hey, picked up some sweet corn canned one. I really like having that handy. And I saw this. Hershey's, they had these Hershey bars for 49p, I think. I've never tried this, sprinkles and cream. They also had strawberries and cream and something mint. I didn't like the sound of either of those, so I just got this one for us all to try. And then I wanna make a bit of a sweet pick and mix thing for Valentine's Day. So I picked up this cinnamon, Crisly cinnamon, whatever it is, big pack. I have never tried these. Let me. Let 
Oh, they're tiny, tiny little. Oh my God, that's really good. Mmm, that is really, really good. I had never tried that. So I got that. I also got these chocolate fudge brownie chocolate bits and uh, some white fudge uh, pretzels. And I'll probably try and get something else savory to go in there and sort of mix it all. I've seen loads of people doing that before and I thought it'd be a fun thing to do for Valentine's. I got some Baby Bell. I think this was like two ninety nine, but it's actually the really big pack. I love these. Um, some butter. I only picked up one because it was 95p, so it's gone up. It was like 70p that I used to buy it for or something like that. Um, so it's still cheaper than the other stuff, but I only got one. The main season of baking, it's gone past anyway. So um, that should do me for a while. And finally, food wise, oh, there's one more thing. Got this pan of chocolate. And then I got this as a present for Alex for Valentine's. It's all sweets, I know. Um, it's very long sort of, what are they called? Candy cables, okay. So that's it food wise. Now let's talk about baby wise. Picked up a few essentials like teething powders. My goodness, um, that is, he's still teething and he will be for a long time anyway. But Panthen, uh, this was four pounds. It's quite a big tube. Oh yeah, that's really big. So that will last for a long time. That is my preferred thing and um, Oscar does have quite sensitive bum so and I also got to try these um water wipes dupes this was a pound if you know like water wipes are like 2.99 so I thought I'd give that a try and then the only other thing I got were some little fuzzy socks I thought these were really good so um yeah it says that it's zero to three months, um, but they are quite big, so I thought they'll be fine for him. He needs them right now, so that's it. That's it for baby stuff. And then, like, personal care. Got some Listerine. Some Dove deodorant. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear I mean, Oscar's sleeping at the moment. He might be waking up. Let's finish this. Two things of paracetamol. These were 29p each. Um, some toothpaste. I've never seen this one before. Coconut extracts with ginger oil. So just looked. I am a magpie for anything that's different and new. So also, Picked up some shampoo and conditioner, coconut. This is 95% of natural ingredients. Great smell, vegan. I've never tried this before, let me smell. Oh my God, it smells good enough to eat. It smells like coconut yo yogurt or coconut ice cream. These were 150 each, okay. And then let's get into the cleaning stuff. I picked up two tubs of the Pink Stuff Miracle Laundry Oxy Powder. One is for colours and one is for whites. £2.50 each. They're massive tubs. I'm literally just running out of the... Um, I had a colour one and I liked it, so I just got the white one as well. Um, basically, now there isn't a wash where I don't add a scoop of that with a baby. There's always something in there that needs to be sparkling. So, I also picked up some rubbish bin bags. Two things of toilet vac. Bleach. Is it bleach? 
foaming bleach gel this one and this one is floral fantasy now usually i just buy the cheapest thing to pour down the toilet but we have such hard water loads of build up of um what's the word that i'm looking for build up of lime scale <laughs> sorry so i need something that is a bit better um and so i bought the this stuff to try out pound each i bought them different you know what else i got one zaflora concentrate disinfectant the country garden one yeah, let me smell that this is a if you're not in the uk you probably don't know what this is tiny little bottle you this is concentrate so you can dilute this Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's really nice in a bucket. Sorry, you can dilute that in a bucket of like five litres, is it? Dilute one in 40 with water. So, uh, and you can put it in a spray bottle and kills all the germs, clean your floors with it. Um, but it leaves a really lovely smell. So I got one of those. And then I went to town on the Fabulosa stuff. I got some, this, the fabulous, so the Zooflora was one pound and anything that I have here from Fabulosa, I'm sure it was a pound. So I have Dazzling Bathroom Orange and Apricot. Um, let me smell that. Oh, that smells amazing, which is what I wanted. I wanted really nice smelling stuff. With a baby, the house to me always stinks of poo. I just, yeah, I just want like everything to smell really nice. I know that sounds a bit dramatic. Well, I'm leaking this all over the place. Just wipe it down a minute. So this will be for the bathroom. Um, I also have, I also got the sparkling glass. I was out of um, glass. This, the scent of this is Escape. Oh, that smells like the man's aftershave. Oh, I've just noticed it's, it's missing the, the handle thing. Am I right? You know, like the spray, it's broken basically. You can see that this one has a handle, this. That one's missing it. It's fine, I can pour it into a different bottle. It's no big drama, but that's for glass, like I said. And I also got a kitchen one. This is blueberry sugar. Let me smell that. Let me smell that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I went too far there. Um, I'll have to tell you how I feel about that. The other thing from Fabulosa I bought was the washing machine cleaner. It says, um, prevents bad odours, removes lime scale, lasting freshness. I use already their um, laundry cleanser. I think it's called, is it laundry cleanser? Um, so if I, I mainly use that if I uh, have a couple of things, say like uh, my cleaning cloths. I usually put them in that white basket there that you could see on top of the dryer. And then at the end of the week, I wash them. So they tend to get a bit whiffy. So I put that laundry cleanser and that kills all the germs and takes out, makes it smell nice as well. So yeah, that's it for Fabulosa, I think it is. Now, I also got two things of bird food. This massive bag was a pound and some fat balls. Also, I know, I think this was 89p, I think for eight, for six, which I thought it was quite good. Then the last few bits, I picked up this two whisks for 1.99. I basically had two whisks with wooden handles that I paid quite a lot of money for. They both broke within a week of each other. So I just thought, oh, just keep something plain. I don't use them very often, but you'll always need a whisk. I got some orange zest tea lights. I completely run out of tea lights, so I just wanted something um, to have. They smell orangey. Not sure how good they will be. And I also picked up this scented candle called Hopes and Dreams. 
Um, it smells really lovely. I don't know what the throw will be, but for two pounds, I thought that was quite cute. And that is it. That is all I got. That's plenty, right? It was like 70 quid the total. They had quite a lot of stuff in the home area, quite the boho kind of thing. Really lovely. It was really hard to not just spend a load of money. They had a, like this lampshade made of rattan kind of thing. Yeah, go and check them out when you get a chance. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.